Welcome to an Escape from Tarkov video. Today, I'll be giving you my opinion on why Escape from Tarkov is the best and worst game you'll play this 2020. If you're looking to get into this game for the first time, this video might be for you. For those of you that don't know, Escape from Tarkov is a first-person looter shooter that's been in development since 2017 by a Russian company called Battlestate Games. Now, Escape from Tarkov is still in beta so don't expect it to be a perfect, smooth running game. It's full of bugs, exploits, and technical issues. Yet, it's still one of the most addicting games I've played in a long time. And here are the three main reasons I can think of why someone would be interested in Escape from Tarkov. Now, Escape from Tarkov gives you a plethora of weapon modifications you can mix and match to create your dream build. Mainly pistol grips, handguards, Bud stocks, charging handles, scopes, lasers, muzzle devices, and suppressors. In EFT, building weapons is crucial. A few factors to take into account are the weapon's vertical and horizontal recoil, its ergonomics, and its length. The second factor that makes this game enjoyable for me is the combat. Coming from games such as Rainbow Six Siege and Call of Duty, I have always loved a good gunfight. Escape from Tarkov will give you plenty of PvP and PvE action that will scratch your itch for a tactical realistic gunfight. There are many factors that go into the success of your combat, such as your weapon's fire rate, the bullets you're using, and the armor class that you're wearing. Now the types of bullets you'll be using is very important. You could be running a meta weapon build, but if you're using cheap bullets, you won't be doing much damage against the higher class armors. Now the way you heal in Tarkov is very important. Each limb has its own health bar which can be recovered using basic healing items. But when a limb hits zero, you need to perform surgery on it, which requires a separate healing item that you will have to bring in with you during the raid. Now the third, and my favorite part of this game, is the loot. Just like any other loot based game, the better a piece of equipment is, be it your weapon or armor, the more expensive it will be. So going into a raid, you're going to want to make as much profit as you can, so you can continue to live the lifestyle that you'll want in the game. An important part of looting is knowing an estimate of how much items sell for either to the in-game traders or to the player-based flea market. Money is the most important part of the game, as it'll allow you to bring the loadouts you want into your raids. The better gear you have, the higher your chances of surviving and making a profit. But this isn't always the case. In Tarkov, you will be dying a lot, and it'll cost you a lot of money, so it's best to strategize how to budget your gear so you won't end up suffering, like this guy. When you've settled into the game, 
and figured out how it works, you're gonna want to gear up and head to the different maps that Tarkov has to offer. The way the game works is pretty simple. When you spawn into a map, your goal is to reach one of your extraction points. And whatever you do along the way is entirely up to you. Whether it's fighting or looting, you make your own adventure. You can play this game with up to four of your friends, but this isn't always an advantage as friendly fire is on and there is no in-game microphone support. So use of third-party apps such as Discord is important in maintaining comms with your party members. In Escape from Tarkov, there is a full day and night cycle as well as varying weather conditions, so you're going to want to make sure to bring in the appropriate gear. As you'll be carrying in loads of loot, Inventory management is important. As of the moment, Escape from Tarkov does not have a main storyline. Instead, you're given quests to complete that will reward you with experience to level up, money, and some useful items and gear. In the overall screen, your stats will be presented to you, as well as the choice of clothing, which you can purchase from an in-game trader. As you go through your raids, you will be leveling up your character skills. These skills provide different buffs that will affect your gameplay in different ways, such as your stamina and recoil control, among others. Another useful part of the game is the hideout. This is where you can craft items that will help you in your raids or help you make money. Now the different aspects of the hideout can be upgraded along the way. Trading is a huge part of the game, as this is where you will be buying and selling your gear and items. Items can either be bought for money or traded for barter items. As you progress through the questline, you will be unlocking different levels of traders, which allows you access to better gear. Another way you can trade in this game is by use of the flea market. The flea market runs on a player-based economy. Items will rise and drop in price as the game receives updates. The flea market is unlocked at level 10 and is the biggest way you will earn money in this game. Now on to my personal review of the game. Here are the things I like about Escape from Tarkov. First is that Escape from Tarkov is a tactical realistic shooter. Don't expect to be able to jump around killing everybody in sight, or even hitting a 360 no scope. The mechanics of this game make it to be as realistic as possible. Second is that the environment in this game is immersive. The visuals are outstanding, and each map presents different elements that make them unique. Another thing I like about this game is that no two raids are the same. Each raid has varying elements such as the spawning of scav bosses, the weather conditions, and the types of players you'll run into in your raids. Now this can be seen as both a pro and a con. But since Escape from Tarkov is still in beta, there are constant updates that keep the game feeling fresh, such as the addition of new weapons and gear, clothes, voice lines, scab bosses, map expansions, and even new maps entirely.
Now on to the not so good things about this game. And this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but Escape from Tarkov punishes the players. The game will not hold your hand as there is no in-game tutorial or skill-based matchmaking. Another thing is that Escape from Tarkov is not known for having the best servers. You will be experiencing a lot of desync and lag, which can be very frustrating. A huge problem that the game's community is experiencing is the abundance of hackers. Some common hacks are aimbot, wall hacks, radar, and speed hacks. My biggest frustration with the game is stutters and FPS drops. Even people who have some of the best specs still encounter this problem, and it can affect your game pretty big. So my verdict. Escape from Tarkov is a very addicting game if you can put the time into it. You'll need to do a lot of research if you want to make it in this game. But this game will punish you nonetheless. The game is commonly described as a game that will punch you in the dick. And it's true. As a new player, expect to hate this game. But trust me, it just takes one good raid to make you forget about all those countless deaths and struggles. I made this review as a fan of the game that wants to see the community grow and see the game make it as big as the other AAA titles. I strongly suggest that you try out the game. The community is really great and helpful. There is even a Sherpa program where you can get someone to help you get started. If you like this review, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I also play on Asian servers if you ever need help or someone to go on a raid with. Well that's all folks, see you next time.